In this video, I am going to show how to track initiate checkout event for TikTok Pixel using Google Tag Manager. Hi, you are welcome to this video. My name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build all digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. I think you will never be disappointed. Let's get back to this topic. This is my WordPress WooCommerce website and I am going to track initiate checkout event for TikTok Pixel. First of all, see where this is add to cart and I am going to check out. And let's check this checkout is tracking or not and click on the extension. This is TikTok Pixel extension. So it's a no event here. So that's why I am going to tracking. So this is my tag container and we need the trigger. So that's why we are going to preview mode. And our let's open the website and do the exact same which is check event, which is check out event. So this is add to cart and then go to check out okay uh, and take a look on the tag manager here is the initiate checkout trigger so this is actual the trigger we have to make this trigger and then all the product information in here so first of all make a trigger so go to trigger and click on new and then it's a custom event and paste the exact same name and save that name that you will like so i'm going to input same name and save it and then go to tag and then click new and then custom html and paste this code on this html code box so just paste it here and select that exact trigger that we are made right now and save it you can choose any name here i am using my name and it's tiktok checkout so and save it and then see it's working or not and we are going to preview again and then the website is opening so go on the specific product page and then it's view item and then add to cart and then go to checkout and then you can see our tag is fired and check the extension here is the initiate checkout event so this is working perfectly and when you have done and everything work perfectly then don't forget to submit it otherwise it will not work so that's all if you don't understand any part of this video or if you have any suggestion please do comment i will really appreciate it and if you need my help that i am providing as a freelancer feel free to contact me i would love to work with you you can visit my website so that's all for today if you found this video useful don't forget to give thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel and if you want to stay up to date then subscribe to this channel and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day